And my, my bits are flawless. Have you seen them? Oh, by all means, question my bits. But uh, <laughs> while you, you should, do that, you should, Jordan... Show, show, your, show your bits on, on it, the screen. It is warm in here, and I have on a polyester shirt. You very well may see some Ven bits. <laughs> And welcome back to Linux Gamecast Weekly, the show that covers the latest Linux gaming news, reviews, on tos and most importantly, whatever the hell else we come up with. This week, IOQuake 3 servers, they've been hacked. You might want to delete those binaries and the latest Steam beta. It's quite fast, just not in the way you might think. Brother will kill brother. Spread blood across the planet. <laughs> I'm a sexy banana, and that's something I don't understand. Also, Dota Auto Chess gets a new name, and it's, uh, it's a little underwhelming. E3 was a thing that happened. We'll talk about all the linux stuff that uh, Steam was more than happy to point out. And the Atari VCS is open for pre-orders. It's cheaper than the Smach, for sure, but even less interesting. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I'm Old Man Ben, joined every week by our sexy banana. And can I'm we... the sexiest banana. Oh, man, that is, that is one Jordan's fong. And uh, from the Isles of Britannia, one I'm Pedro Mateus, with you at home, watching us live, participating, helping us form. Go game Voltron. Suck it, YouTube's just like, no monetization for you, period. It was like, we didn't say anything on the Wednesday show. Don't care. We manually reviewed it. True story, ladies and gentlemen. Because <laughs> fuck you, that's yeah, why. Pretty much, pretty much. Uh, hey, it's a new week, another big show. We get to talk about what's going on in each other's life. I'm going to scroll up. Did either of you degenerates write any? No, you didn't. I didn't either. I thought I would join in. Be like, <laughs> cool. I, I mean, if when I have something noteworthy, I put it up there. <laughs> Otherwise, like, I, 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 I subsist day to day drinking obscene amounts of coffee. And writing groovy code. That's my life. Pretty much, man. Uh, over here, I have uh, I made a video that'll be up for patrons tomorrow about how all of our Jack Audio networking stuff is tied together. It's kind of like the thousand yard view. It's just where you, it even includes shaky cam, which is awesome. So BSG st- shaky cam? Dude, yeah. <laughs> and, the, you know, the Galactica Sun. falls out of the atmosphere. And I'm like, this is weird. Yeah. Where'd my roof go? Um, <laughs> there's some naked, there's some naked chick in a red dress, just like, why, why are you here? I, I'm not going to get into the problem I have with a someone being naked in a dress, but that's for you. To yeah, <laughs> naked chick in a red dress. Uh, yeah, stay tuned for that if you're interested in some of our <laughs> audio stuff. Uh, Pedro, go ahead and tell everyone, show everyone. Uh, I can't show because it's in the bag over there. But yeah, no, uh, work took away. I mentioned last week that work took away my uh, my XPS. But then my boss was like, well, we found this in the server room in uh, in Birmingham. So uh, do you want it? It's like, what is it? Open it up. Oh, it's got an Intel Xeon and an NVIDIA Quadro. Oh, this is a Dell Precision 7510. Okay, yeah, no, I'll keep it. 32 gigs of RAM. No. Appreciate it. <laughs> Give me. <laughs> <laughs> and you, you, ultimately, you're going to have to put Windows on it, though, right? Oh, yeah. In a couple of weeks, uh, the laptop that I'm currently using is just one of the ones that we give to people. And we're going to need that laptop because we need, there's a bunch of people starting. So in a couple of weeks, I, I will have to put Windows 10 on it. Right now, it's running Fedora 30, but it, yeah, not you. You, you, you don't want to be in the situation where you're, where you're like bringing in, in your own hardware to your work so that you can fucking use Linux at work. Because I, I yeah. debated going down that road a couple times. <laughs> like I got enough spare parts around that I could just like build a system and car- cart it over there. No, you did, it's, man. It's I mean, fun. you went so far as like buy a monitor to bring it into your job, right? I did. Well, they they wouldn't give me they wouldn't give me a UHD monitor. And I got to, I got so used working off to working off one that like I, I, I it, going back to 1080p is like going into like a short bus mode. Oh, it's yeah. not it's not enough. It's not enough. It's not, man. Uh, how about the horse though? It likes short buses and modes. Yeah, the the horse too isn't enough. It really hasn't been paying attention to my needs, and I think we need to have a talk. It's the Steam Linux update. Oh, Oh my god, we have a brand new Steam library page, Becky. and it's new, and <laughs> I hate yet. it. I hate it forever. Yeah, it's, it, th- th- this, this, is, uh, this is from PC Gamer, links in the show notes. Yeah, there's, there's, there's a leak of the brand new Steam store, and it looks about the same as what we've seen in the other quote-unquote leaks and previews that Steam has posted. Okay, you say that. You say that, and I immediately 
I'm like valve time. Yeah, this looks like the leaks that we saw like a year ago, and I don't think a lot's changed. It really yeah. has. It really <laughs> hasn't, because like like you said in in the notes, it is really just a matter of like what is the most efficient path to double clicking on the name of the game so I can you know launch the game. But I mean, I mean, like, and it, it's not it's not even that drastic a departure from what we have currently. But of course, everyone's mm-hmm. gonna be like, "Oh, it's new. I hate it." It's not like YouTube where they'll like change the <laughs> UI every six months without telling you, and it'll just be terrible. And it just gets progressively worse to the point where like you miss the old crappy one because it was slightly better than the old old crappy one. We can, if you want to do an accurate, yeah. uh, that'd be like if Valve just randomly took away games and changed the rules mm-hmm. on you for no reason. Uh, yeah. But no, I, 100%. I, I'm in camp. Is, is there a play button? Play button. We're good. Don't don't care. Pedro? And the play button seems to be very much in the same place. Uh, but it, it's new. It doesn't look terrible. It, it's, uh, you know, it's better than having, you know, you still have the list down the left side. You can still, I'm, I don't know, but I suspect you'll still be able to double click on it to just launch the game and the right side since it's got you know all the room you'll be able to see all the games and all the information about a specific game that you have selected it's like okay that that's good enough i think (laughs) yeah i again wrong person to ask i think a lot of people (laughs) made myself included and like if i'm gonna play something i just use the uh dock like what game because it's yeah right click click on the game there a <laughs> little bit of a side jack because i i know i brought this up a while back uh we, we had this little thing called e3 you might have heard of it mm-hmm. it happened uh, who, who pays attention to that? and we were talking you know with stadia coming out which we talked about last week stick around for some hate mail we're gonna answer some questions on that um microsoft came out and it's like hey man uh you know you give us like 10 bucks a month you can play all these games that we have I'm like, hey, Steam, wouldn't it be a good idea to do like a Netflix thing and let me download a couple of games a month to play and not keep? Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. That. So like that, that's 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 the thing, right? They uh, they have to produce special versions of the game for like those free weekends, right? That uh, like hook into the Steam DRM server so they can track that. So I, I don't suppose it would be too difficult to like produce a generic version of that that just perpetually contacts the server. It says, is, is this guy's rental period open right i don't i don't i don't i don't don't know because it 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 could it could be a good idea to allow some to give some uh low risk exposure to a lot more indie titles which is something that is a problem on steam but Mm -hmm. which is why it for you know for indies it sort of makes sense to go the alternate routes be it you know epic origin Something that has some curation because that the way Nintendo they actually Switch get store. noticed. Yeah, right. The Nintendo Switch store, yeah. Uh, and Steam kind of needs to do a better job in that respect. They've been trying to automate as much as they can and put it in the hands of the community with the Steam curators thing, but it it's clearly not enough, mm-hmm. and oh, they're b- losing by, by the developers. Way, all, all, all of you, our viewing audience, you are totally subscribed to our curator page, right? Right. 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 Yeah. Right. Wait, we still have, uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, no. Yeah, we do. Up <laughs> next, Steam Client Beta. A uh, little bit of an update. It does have a small gang of input fixes, uh, stuff for in-home streaming. The shader precaching has been updated. Where they're, they're trying to make it where it's like a little less psychotic with updates every single time you launch Steam, which is good. Uh, one thing I like that network sockets, P2P uh, P connections, uh, they were having an issue. And this makes me real happy because I can finally download faster than 40 megabytes a second, which is good. Uh, but the pre-compiling of the shaders... That's neat. Uh, I want yeah. them to keep working on that because that has definitely improved performance in a lot of games. I mean, with Proton. Yeah. This, this is this is like the Steam beta scoop and dupe too. So like all, all of the features that have made it into the beta, this is just the GA release of that. Mm-hmm. So if you're not following the beta, you get cool stuff like the ability to download faster <laughs> than the speed of smell, as was mentioned before. Um, yeah, there's that's not been a problem for a here. while, though, man. Like, it, it, it has. Yeah, the, the, mm-hmm. there, there was there was a while, too, where if your network connection was too fast, Steam would just eat shit. Mm. <laughs> Hi. Um, yeah. <laughs> this this is like a legi- I know first world problems shoot us in the face right but fuck me it used to be yeah. I would at least get like 50 down 500 um, then probably for the last two months man I, I was like 
legitimately cheesing by downloading out of London because for whatever <laughs> reason I could at least get 35 down. Damn. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> but that's back. It's fixed. It's sorted. It's brilliant. And uh New Proton? Yeah, there's the yeah, new, new Proton. proton. Woo! <laughs> new look look proton, at that massive change log. It has a single listed change. I'm sure they may have changed a couple of other small things, but, but they, those stain. weren't important enough. Yeah. And all they did was fix for performance and sound regression that affected some games like Wolfenstein, uh, the new order. It's, yeah, that that's it. it they Apparently the F-Audio um, thing that they introduced with the last release caused some regressions in game, uh, like, you know, cracklies, I'm assuming, uh, with some games. And they went, eh, let's just fix that. And they fixed it. That's it. Hmm. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> well, I, I, the story here oh, is we were getting regular updates with Proton. Yes, yeah. we are. Yeah. My, I, mean, I mean, I'm not going to complain about more performant Nazi screams. That's like not a thing. No, and that's an incredibly fun game. But I mean, it is Valve. So trust me, at least 10% of your brain's like, they're just going to drop this any minute and be like, that never happened. And forget about it. Like yeah. curators. Mm. Mm. Valve is not Google. <laughs> yeah, yeah is it though you're is right it? no 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 there's a distinct difference valve just neglects something yeah, yeah. google no, will no, straight no. up kill it <laughs> I, 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 have the, I have this mental image of like the end of a fucking scooby-doo episode where it's like now to take off your mask gabe and see who you really are <laughs> oh you're eric schmidt oh no <laughs> been eric schmidt this entire time uh okay we talked about e3 and we got a couple of games out of that deal Yep, yeah, we did. And uh, Steam was more than happy to have a little list. It's like, look, we got the thing about being live from L.A. And we have all the games that were featured in uh, E3. Tell, tell, telling lies, mama? No. <laughs> yes. Uh, uh, you All the games that were featured uh, at E3 that are on the Steam store oh, or have cool. at least a pre-order page on the Steam store, then that's Steam's like, one. everything. Um, There's not on that one. List. No, 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 no. And uh, yeah, there's a there's not a whole lot when it comes to Linux. Uh, it or, or it, it, it is oh, man, a good list to look at Reef the Proton stuff. Boo. No. Boo. <laughs> oh, there, there there's one overcooked. Overcooked, overcooked. It's DLC. There's Aww. CD Project Red though. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. There, there there's there's the VR titles. When, I mean, they work under Proton ostensibly. So no. Yeah. Yeah, and I kind of hope that uh, Hellpoint, uh, the sci-fi Dark Souls thing, I hope that one delivers. Now that was the one we played like two years ago. That guy like really yeah, they had a demo demo. when they had a Kickstarter. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Now, now, of 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 course, the the biggest miss out here is uh, if if you scroll down a little, you'll see a game that will not come until the next. Although we're all very disappointed, my friend Pedro. That has that has a banana on on the poster. Like ironically, the trailers for that I watched a little bit of the gameplay and I was like, that looks kind of fun. Yeah. Hmm. Um. But yeah, I mean, Proton, Proton makes this list hurt a lot less, right? Right. Try and four you, though. Try and four is try, Windows only. No, I, I mean, honestly, no, I, so, so, I expected here, that because Frozen Byte was like our Linux guy left. Yeah, the the so, one Linux guy just up so, and so, so here, here, here's a question: When Trine Four gets released, does Trine again kick back in, and we got to finish that? It's on. We got to do it. Uh, oh, oh, we got to oh, proton no. that. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that, fuck me. Right? Extra um, hard mode. Hey, imagine yeah. a buggy ass uh, Frozen Byte <laughs> title plus proton. Right. The the the, the other the other one here that kind of hurts is uh, Baldur's Gate Three. Despite the fact that Larian has proven that they can actually put out a good Linux port, mm-hmm. um, and they're just like, yeah, we did that with Divinity Original Sin. Yeah, Divinity Original Sin 2, what? Linux version? No, nah. no we're not doing that. <laughs> nah. Baldur, Baldur's Gate 3, all the other Baldur's Gates are on Linux? Yeah, no, 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 mm. we're not. We're not. We're no. Not gonna do that. If, it, if it were Bame Dog, I'm pretty sure they would. Just that 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 there. said, I'm actually really <laughs> hype about uh, Larian doing a Baldur's Gate game. They know their way around CRPGs, so that, that, yeah, that's something yeah. that they really wanted to do. They're like, yes, we. This is something that we never thought we could. So you know, having that enthousi- enthusiasm about it, yeah, I think that, that <laughs> it's it, it's 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 going to be good. I might I might end up having to burn a Heretic purchase on that, but you know. so uh, yeah, there was. Oh, hold on, there was just one game I want to talk about because uh, it. 
I played the original Blair Witch games, all three of them, and they were bad, but they were like Resident Evil bad. They were campy. It, that was uh, I enjoyed them. And now there was a new Blair Witch game announced at E3, and it looks exactly like Slender, and it's Windows only, so don't worry about it. It's probably never going to come to Linux. But it's like, what are you doing? I like the old games. Those were nice. What are you doing? <laughs> Speaking of shaky cam, am I right? right. Uh, anyways, <laughs> let's talk about let's talk about auto chess. Although it's not called auto chess anymore. Totes it's not called auto chess. Unterlords. Yes, that's, yeah, that's uh, Greek for totes not auto chess. It absolutely <laughs> is not auto chess, not at all. We didn't totally uh, buy that mm -hmm. at all. No. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, well, they're 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 doing some announcement. They're, this is the official announcement of what the their version of auto chess is going to be called. Um, there's going to be an open beta. They're not going to tell you when, but they're going to be soliciting feedback when it does become available. I, I don't, I don't know. Like I, I saw, I saw, I saw the new title underlords and I'm like, man, Baron underbite is going to be very, very upset about this. <laughs> I don't, I, I find the, I find the new name to be a little like uninspiring, right? If they stuck with auto chess, they at least have the name recognition, um, ties ties it into Dota. People don't like assume that they're buying into a different game. This it's is like one of the things the auto chess developers are like, "Yo, the, we're making auto chess over here now." And like they they got a good deal mm -hmm. with like Valve. Like, yeah, Valve, give us money. Okay, that game. Yeah, we're, we're skin pack. Uh, we're still doing it. Don't <laughs> we worry called it something else yeah. and we changed the skin. So yeah, no, totally different game. Valve. Here's the whole <laughs> thing, man. Um, at the end of the day, I was kind of surprised because I saw that this was put in the blog post and they're like, Hey, you know, of course it's Valve. I'm like, and it's going to be a Linux. I, I pooped that out on Twitter. And I had like two different people. It was like, I don't know. I wouldn't, I wouldn't rush to conclusions. It's like, it's fucking Valve for fuck's sake. Um, yeah, no, and it's running on the Dota the 2 yeah. engine. This, this is effectively, this is already, yeah, this is something that already works on Linux as a mod for Dota with Vulkan if you just want to play yeah. for bucks and giggles. Um, I, yeah. I was kind of surprised by that. Now, in all fairness, any other developer or publisher have that, but, you know, I, I didn't see Valve I mean, like, yeah. you know what, on this one? Yeah, no, no Linux, Brad. Uh, like uh, go, going back to the whole Proton thing, they put in the effort to make sure that like Proton would work with VR specifically, so that all that development they did on VR would not be like wasted for Linux folks. Mm -hmm. So yep. uh, mm. they, they 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 seem pretty committed to the cause. They don't they don't want uh, they don't want Microsoft to be able to dick them around anymore. In. Although Microsoft is also a little bit more than happy to put out their games on Steam nowadays, <laughs> because <laughs> well, so, 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 so. we got a whole segment to cover that shit. How about that? Oh yeah, that, 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 that's true. Why don't Why don't we kick on over that? Coming up next, we talk about a brand new Mesa release, and yeah, we're 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 gonna talk about Microsoft some more because this is Microsoft Gamecast. Well, we are certainly doing some bits, uh, not, you know, newsworthy bits, but those will be coming in a moment. How dare Don't you, you worry. question my <laughs> journalistic integrity? I, I will question, I will question your bits and you'll yes. like it. And my, my bits are flawless. Have you seen them? Oh, by all means, question my bits. But uh, <laughs> while you, you do that, you Jordan, show, show, show your bits on the, on it, the screen. It is warm in here and I have on a polyester shirt. You very well may see some Vin bits. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy! If, 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 you, if, you, if you want to enable that sort of spicy footage, you should head on over to LinuxGameCast.com, or better yet, our Patreon, patreoncom gamecast where you can become one of the 118 people who are giving us money in exchange hey, for you can get this service to Doom. that we render. You could, yeah, yep. if you want to play some Doom Deathmatch with then access to uncut could. early. Yeah, or access to the Discord channel where you can hang out with us and a bunch of other miscreants who enjoy this oh, that's nonsense. Awesome. Yeah, you even you can even get access to the show notes. You can watch the show congeal week in and week Dude, out. Hang it Maybe out. even suggest some stories. Audio tell us if we're wrong. Stream. Oh man, yeah, yeah, that is awesome. Uh, we actually have some suggestions from Arthur this week, and you get your custom yeah. RSS feed, and you get that pre pre super shows. And we were talking about jellyfish animus, and I'm not making that up. Go back and listen. Nope. 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 Brought up twice. <laughs> uh, we, we got a brand new Patreon. We got to thank too, Woo. Mr. Adam. 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 Pedro, I want yeah. you to tell me a one fact about Adam. 
It shares the name with the mythological uh, being He's not in the, the Antichrist, Bible. he's a naughty boy. Mm, naughty boy. <laughs> uh, who was supposedly the first man, you know, 6,000 years ago after, you know, like the fifth Chinese dynasty was already didn't, a thing. Didn't he get the name because he, he was like eating some ribs and that... I don't. Maybe that was a different item. Uh, I, 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 I don't, I don't, hey, man! If 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 you uh, if you messed up your shirt, um, well, actually, no, I don't that, even that, know that comes later. Yeah, I was I was I was gonna go to the the store, but no, we, well, you know, we gotta head over to plug, Amazon. Uh, uh, give everyone a free plug, man. Uh, stick around for your name in the credits, Adam, and yeah. don't eat our ribs, yeah. man. That could be dangerous because we like to give a little shout out like that. Uh, yeah. Now. Rib sh- Wait, Amazon's. God damn it. Am- Amazon. We are See, broadcasting see I, I, professionals. I, 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 I had the segue, but then I realized I done fucked myself. Yeah, we got, we got, we got a page on Amazon mm. where you can see. Have where, you ever um, wanted to eat a 10 gig switch? Mmm, delicious. I do now. But yeah, if, if you want if you want to see what we use to put together this show, this is, maybe you uh, want to replicate this. we're planning this, on buying. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, this is how this uh, works. Then you can you can you can head on over there and uh, you know crib off of us. We it's nice. do need to mention if you go to our web zone, uh, we put together a thing of thing everything that we've already gotten because it used to be a thing on like the wish list. We don't use this as a wish list. It's just like a public thing of like this is just shit we're buying. Uh, if you want to mm-hmm. kick in with that, that's awesome. You end up on Frank's fuck wall. It's poorly lit because I forgot to cut his light on, uh, and you will live there for all times. But. Or until we got to replace the fuck. This wall is true. There's only one spot board. left on fuck wall 2.0, which is actually fuck ball 1.0. Long story behind that. Re- read the lore <laughs> in the video game when it's released. And I'm not joking about that. Uh, but uh, the uh, atomic asses. What I do want to point uh, out is since we, we used to be able to see all the stuff that was purchased, but we put together an Amazon store. We're not saying buy it through Amazon or anything like that, but it's a list of all the stuff that we have in here that we recommend that we've tested on Linux and is legit there. Speak, speaking works. of stores, we we actually have one. You can buy t-shirts. Nope. Um, if 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 you're if like Adam, you're eating too many ribs. You got sauce everywhere. Maybe you need a new shirt. You can buy one. Hey, our, Frank's uh, back. I got store. an MK3 version. Mm-mm-mm. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh. You, you you can broadcast the world that you are a Frankophile or a mayonnaise enthusiast, or just buy some chair stickers and slap them on your friends. <laughs> okay. Rate them from one All to right. four, just like we do actual Dude. games. All right. <laughs> Linux gamecast across the back and nice cursive mayonnaise enthusiast. <laughs> yeah let's do it i'm down with it we can make it happen yep uh all hey, right thanks for keeping us honest we do this we're completely uh independently financed we don't have commercials or anything like that and uh one one good thing we, we actually had someone think is there's like thanks for not doing like clickbait no no i mean we could all do like a really well, you know constipated face well, and you could edit well, that into the well, so, so here, here, here's the thing here we we in the, in this coming segment we got five hot trip tricks five that windows trips. gamers don't want you to know dun, dun, dun. no not at all you can trip uh it's the news yeah, let's do it <laughs> all right let's, let's do some news yeah no, so normally we start with uh nvidia drivers but if you are an intel or amd user under linux with that graphics card you might feel a little left out well we got you mason 19.1 has been released uh these are the open source drivers that are pretty much plug and play so if you got an intel gpu or a amd gpu you just need to update to this. Um, it may be in your distribution a little later than today, but you know, you could be a pro and compile it unless you're an arch user. Then you gotta wait for someone to build it for you. Anyways, uh, OpenGL 4.5 is now a thing for hate mail, Jordan at Linux <laughs> <laughs> um, Yeah, OpenGL 4.5 is a thing for the two games that actually use it. And there are a lot of uh, Rad V and Intel Vulkan fi- driver fixes, which is really what we're here for, right? Because like, mm-hmm. it yeah. makes you it makes you Proton better. So you want you want that extra Proton performance. There's some other performance fixes um stuff for uh the witcher 3 project cars um you know other games that were once promised to be on linux but now mm-hmm. you need uh <laughs> dxvk to project play on linux cars gets an extra like dose of go f- fuck yourself like right there because they straight up is like okay okay the first one we didn't do but we got this new thing where when we're done with project cars 2 we'll backport it and make it work at our new engine okay uh project cars 2 is out hey linux port Smoke bomb. Yeah. Smoke yeah. bomb. <laughs> yep. Dang. Uh, but that's available for your perusal. You can download it and enjoy your improved performance. This is on pretty Windows good. Uh, how long do you think we're going to have to work? Uh, work. Wait for the new MD hotness is going to be coming out in July 7th. Uh, Wait, I video think... cards? When did they see the video? Mm. 
This is going to come out. Uh, the video cards, I think they are also releasing in July, at least the 5700 and the 5700 XT. That's neat. <clears throat> Good times. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Speaking of, uh, <laughs> you, you, it, it, may, it may not be included here, but, you know. Whatever. Um, we're super, super thanks yeah. for asking, man. Exclusive from WCC's man speculationville, but sometimes the speculation pans out. I and mean, it's the only reason we use, we don't use them as a source, but I'm like, sometimes <laughs> this is legit. And this one is believable. This is, we've talked about the super. Thanks for asking. Cards. Uh, due to rights, uh, specifications have been added from another source. Uh, very venerable. Uh, okay. Igor, I'm Igor. not making that up. I, uh, it's it's Igor. Igor, <laughs> Igor, Igor, Igor the Igor. But if we scroll down here, uh, okay, this is the lineup. If this is to be mm -hmm. believed, and this is not confusing at all in any way whatsoever, the new chips for the 27 TIS, that's what I'm calling it. This is going to be the 27 TI, super thanks for asking, and the 2080 TIS. So the 2060 is now the 2070, the 2070 is now the 2080, but the 2080 S is a 2080 Ti non S because, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, if you told me, like, <laughs> to my face that NVIDIA had a job title that, you know, you have a CIO, CFO, if they had a CCB, I'm like, um, CCBs? No, I think about that. I had a brain on it for a second. I'm like, oh, you, you, you mean a chief of confusing bullshit? Yeah, they have that. <laughs> Definitely. That's got to be a job description. Remember the shield? Which one? The shield? The shield? Or the other shield? The shield? Or, the shield? Or, 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 the, or the, the Titan shield X. Or the shield. <laughs> At the end of the day, though, Brad, I got to be honest, man. He was like, oh, you shell for NVIDIA. Let me show you my stack of AMD processors up to including a Thunderbird. Eat a bag of dicks. Um, if... <laughs> You will be handing out like 2060s and they're going to have eight gigajoules of memory RAM and 2070 guts for tree fitting. That's not too bad. Dude. Yeah. Wait, hang on. I think I got. Yeah. <laughs> Bring out the penguin. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, that that's like getting an extra video encoder that can play video games. Yes. Yep. Right. <laughs> and I. I get it, I guess, because, yeah, AMD had that announcement. It's like, oh, we're going to release the Navis. Finally, everyone's been saying that the Navis were going to be like, you know, the third coming of Jesus Christ. Um, and, uh, oh, so the RX 5700 competes with the 1080 or the 2070. And the RX uh, 5700 XT competes with the 2080 Ti or the, the 2080. So NVIDIA just moves everything one over, and all of a sudden, the RX 5700 XT only competes with the new um, 2080. The, yeah, that... Uh, I mean, yeah, I, 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 I'm just very confused right now. <laughs> it's, it's basically... Uh, hold okay, on, let, 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 let me take a bong hit. Maybe, maybe you, that'll you do be that. <laughs> you do that. The... <laughs> Hey, you gotta be honest, though. Um, AMD, like, legit, they're like, hey, man, this, this is a knobby. So this is going to be step one. This is getting our DNA. You know, we're moving off GCN. We're moving to our DNA. This is going to be mid-range competitors. So, unfortunately, the AMD fanboyism get cut in its own fucking feedback loop. And they're like, why isn't this faster than a 2080 for $150? The fuck ever thought it was? Oh, you did. You're a moron. Stop doing that. Um, But, yeah, NVIDIA, dick move. You're like, oh, it competes with the 20 <laughs> something of the 27 70s and 2080 now. No, it doesn't. It competes with oh, oh, the can, old. Can, can you can you imagine on Newegg, yeah. like all, all the, combining all the old and new SKUs? It's gonna be impossible to figure out what GPU you're this, actually. This, this is gonna buying. be mesmerizingly pain in the assing. Uh, but the original 2060 is gonna be dirt cheap, and that's a great card if you're not like look, supposedly yeah. it's dropping like a hundred dollars according to the article, yeah. it's dropping like a hundred dollars. See, I, the I, new I, I just I just is, bought a new video yeah, card, well, so fuck me. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> well, listen, how do you think I felt for a, like two months when they're like, Oh yeah, they're gonna kill thread rep? I was like, How fucking course they are. I, I mean, I, I, to, to be fair, I, I experienced I experienced a little bit of that like after immediately dropping like thirteen hundred oh, right. bucks on the ten eighty Yeah, it's like bye, hello. All right. Well, All right. All right. Well, speaking speaking of AMD CPUs, the next two things have AMD CPUs in them and GPUs. That they do. And uh, the first and one is the Atari VCS. 
you know, that the, unicorn of the, uh, the, hardware the version retro system. consoles. Oh, look, look. It uh, comes in multiple versions. Um, nope. Yes, uh, nope because with extra you RAM need multiple versions for your Atari emulator. Dude, it, it, I'm it, not joking. It, Pedro, they have nope with the joystick, though. <laughs> yes, nope it's, with it's the, the nope joystick. Stick. It's a three slash four button joystick. I can't actually tell from the render oh, on the first. What is this? Uh, they even have a non-hipster paint scheme. Yep. Uh, and carbon no, fiber. it's it, it's just red, black, and that weird brown in the front. But yeah, no. Th- if you want to you, buy usually the joystick, there's weird brown in the back. Am I right? right. <laughs> like a normal if you want person. to buy the joystick by itself, so you can you know cheap out on buying just a console, that's. Fifty dollars for a three slash four button joystick. Mm-hmm. It's like, will will what? it work with your Sega Genesis though? Uh, probably not, nope. uh, because it's wireless. But the thing is, if you go on Amazon, you can actually find a an old style Atari joystick that comes with fifty games built in mm-hmm. for twenty five dollars. Do you know this? Is, yeah. I, I like the analogy of like you know the um, Bugatti Chiron looks just like my car. You know it has four wheels and doors, but you know. But that's the thing. This isn't going to be playing anything other than the uh, that games the, that it ships Pedro. with. You, you 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 lie because you can, you can you can boot Windows Ten exactly. off of the thumb drive. This, this thing is single source Windows Ten. It's infused with nostalgia and uh, beard oil. Yeah. It absolutely is. Yeah, so they're, they're saying, oh, yeah, well, the base version comes with all these Atari games, which will literally take up less than a fucking floppy disk worth right. of storage. No, no, um, mm-hmm. they're HD remasters and they use Vulk uh, the X12. That'd be amazing. <laughs> I'd, I'd be 100%. Um, and yeah, like, here, here's the thing, though. Like, even if they're saying, oh, you can use this as an HTPC, it'll boot off like a USB drive, you know. A, the performance on that is going to be a hot fucking garbage. Number two, yeah. I don't see this for seeing, selling particularly well, considering its competition, like the 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 the, the Genesis one, the NES Classic, the NES cl- or Super Nintendo Classic, or whatever. All of these guys are sub one hundred dollars, and you're asking for like a minimum two hundred dollar buy in here. Two hundred fifty. Two hundred and fifty dollar buy in. That's just not. Here's. It's not going to move units. I got to be it's, real it's, with it's, you, man. Um, I think one of the things that's going to curb stomp this is you're going to like Atari. So you, at the earliest, you're dealing with old fucks my age because the Atari was before my time. So the yeah, old, Atari, old, Atari was seventy five. Older a person gets, uh, the more resistant they are to the nostalgic bullshit curve. I mean, I am, I'm on the other side. I'm like, I don't give a fuck about Atari. That thing was old hat when I was a kid. I like, you, that's my memory attached to that. You went over to somebody's house and all they had was Atari. It's like, let's not come over here anymore. Um, I'm, I'm just, the, the other thing I'm curious about is like, why did they think that an Atari emulator needs eight gigabytes of Ram? Good guy, man. Listen, there, there are other, <laughs> other questions about this that, this oh man, maybe it'll make like a good this whole wait, thing. Okay. Just why? Maybe it'll make a decent <laughs> Steam box question. Mark. Like that, that, that's that's what I was thinking. Like it it sort of at least form factor wise, it sort of fits that Apple TV yeah. tiny little thing you can slip in like a like a media console that lo- that doesn't look like some disgusting computer sitting next to your a TV like what I have set up over there. <laughs> Uh, I built a computer inside the box of an Xbox 360, and uh, yeah, and how's, how's how's that going out? For, yeah. How's that working out for you? Do you do you feel fulfilled? Is does does your life have meaning now? It's the single most popular thing I ever put on the internet. So yeah, that's my accomplishment. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> All right. Well, speaking speaking of AMD powered bullshit, here's some Over even more priced, bullshit. Maybe a little underpowered, man. Tom's hardware. Oh, a little. God. Oh boy. Hands on with a Smash Z, the Ryzen powered Smash Z pre orders open, ships this year. And okay, this is the thing. Uh, reading through it, this is basically, I'm going to summarize uh, from Tom. This thing is hot and it's slow. It's basically two snails banging. Also, look at that thick boy. That is the That's big gear type shit. Dude, that looks, this makes my Atari yeah. Lynx look. Uh, you know, compact. Compact. Yeah. <laughs> big, big chungus over Dude, here. Dude, definitely thinking like that. And plus, I'm looking at, like the pinchers from this. Uh, this thing looks like it has the build quality of a potato with learning disability. I'm just not going to lie to you, man. I mean, it freaking does. And it's, I, I, and it's I, running I, Windows 10. Running Windows okay. 10. Uh, mm-hmm. The Ryzen embedded V160B uh, struggled to hit 30 frames per second. I mean, really, 
the oh shit yeah here's the thing they're, they're <laughs> saying the ones that they played with it was averaging around 17 furps in monster hunter world and 30 Ooh. in doom which this one really oh no uh it, some rocket legs rocket cars hovered around 50 rocket league came out in 2013 Dude. or 2014 uh this, this is well, a, a little bit yeah. worrisome and when we talk about it being a Big piece of kit. I mean, it weighs 600 grams. That's 1.3 freedom units, uh, which is 200 grams more than a Nintendo Switch, which is not exactly a light device. It's, it's a I mean, tablet. It's, it, <laughs> yeah, I, 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 to, be, to be fair, they designed the Switch with the intention that it can be dropped as well. I wouldn't risk dropping this one. Uh, it would, it would just fucking destroy itself. And so, so like, and that, that's the thing they, they, they have, they have this lovely little Ryzen embedded APU that they have crippled because they need to maintain more than three seconds of battery life. Um, <laughs> they're going to, they're going to be, they're going to be charging well over a thousand dollars for the best model, but, but, but they're like, Oh, we have, we have, we have a dual part motherboard so you can take the CPU off and upgrade it with a newer, better model. So you're going to be paying a thousand dollars for a piece of kit that you're going to have to immediately upgrade with the next latest and greatest Ryzen embedded APU when it comes out, because this can't even get like 60 FPS on low on Rocket League. That's, that's not really doing this thing any favors. No. Well, this is what leads me to believe that, yes, now I firmly believe this thing actually exists. And I was like, yeah, you can make that out of spare parts and stick it together, right? 100%. Not a doubt in my mind. We saw... We we talked about the damn Linux, ta uh, damn Linux tablet on uh, LWDW, and that looks like a better proposition than the Smack Z. Yeah, it, again, yeah, <laughs> again, my feels goes out to the people who pre-ordered this. Not, not the ones who have pre-ordered, the ones who backed it on Kickstarter, because that was a dream you could have bought into at the time. Mm -hmm. I, I'm just not... I wonder if they'll honor those... I look forward to that shit show, but I genuinely hope everybody who backed it on Kickstarter at least gets this as a novelty thing to be like, well, and it'll be worth <laughs> something in 20 years because they're going to make sex of them. Okay, good news, everyone. Oh, uh, well, it's news, and uh, the news is that Microsoft bought Double Fine, and uh, earlier in the week, you saw Double Fine post, like... Several different how videos. Happy it's Tim like Tim is, though. He's like, yay! <laughs> That's, that, that is a great, someone picked that photo and they're like, yes, this is what we're going to run on our story. Just Tim, yeah. Tim Schaefer looking as dejected and depressed as humanly possible. Dude. To be fair, it's a video and it's just the automatic uh, thumbnail. Mm -hmm. So yeah, but it's, yeah, Double Fight got bought by the Xbox Game Studios and now they are one of the official Microsoft developers joining quite a few others. Uh, and yeah, Obsidian. they put out like, at, yeah, Obsidian and there was another one I can remember. Uh, the, they put out, I think two videos during the week trying to explain, it's like, look, Microsoft bought us because we make games that they like and they're going to let us keep doing our thing. So that's, that's fine, I guess. And, uh, on Steam, if you go look at the Psychonauts 2 thing, uh, and it, that's where the second tweet comes in. Uh, they say that it will release on all the platforms that they promise. So it'll be Windows, Mac, Linux, PS4, and the Xbox, obviously. Hmm. So yeah, yeah. For, first, first Obsidian, now Double Fine. It almost, it almost kind of makes you want to scream. This is why we can't have nice things. <laughs> um, but I mean, look, look, look at what Microsoft did with their acquisition of GitHub, right? They've more or less left it alone because what they want, they, they don't really want to like get their grubby mitts on it. What they want is to collect the profit that it makes. Um, and Microsoft buying this out is a little bit interesting because we all know how timely and on budget Double Fine is. So I'm curious if Microsoft, if Microsoft does change something, hopefully they'll do something to address the whole un, uh, beyond the deadline and over budget uh, tendency that Double Fine games tend to uh, tend to fall into. I don't. I don't. The I don't second know that bit of news we really want to address with this is like, oh my god, this guy's falling, and they were quick. Like this is tweet number two from them. Like Psychonauts two mm -hmm. will be coming to all promised platforms: Linux, Mac, PS4, and Windows ten, and of course Xbox. Yeah. Smiley face. Well, the 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 other thing the other thing too is like 
Double Fine has already already has Linux support in their engine. It kind of seems like it would be more work for Microsoft to come in and say, hey, you can't do this anymore. You got to shut off those Linux bits. You can't produce that build anymore. Well, I had this thought and I was like, hmm, Microsoft or Epic that I said, you know, Microsoft, because there's a better chance of getting a Linux port. Ironically, mm -hmm, in this true. fucked up world we're living in right now. But then again, when Microsoft bought Obsidian, the first thing that Obsidian did is they ran into the arms of uh, Epic and made Outer Worlds a Epic exclusive. So fuck you, Obsidian. Uh, nothing but love and hugs here at LGC. Um, okay, wine. Um, gr grumpy time. <laughs> yeah, so... One, one, one of the extra benefits of being a Patreon is that if you happen to write anything for any sort of news site, we'll include your stuff in our show. Like Pretty much. this lovely article from Mr. Scoot Mashad of PC Per. Um, so there's a bit of a kerfuffle going on in Wine Town. So the Wine Project has said, you know what? We're going to be making our own uh, DirectX 11, DX12 compatibility stuff. We're gonna we're gonna bake it into wine. We don't really think that DXVK is the future. We think it's a dead end. Um, to which you know everyone on Reddit who's an expert programmer and knows everything about graphics stack goes, "What? No!" <laughs> but I mean, th th this is always gonna happen. There's always gonna be some sort of my team versus your team fucking ass wankery happening online. It's been like that since you had the choice between Ed and EX, right? Mm -hmm. Um. And I think both of these thing, both both these projects have merit. Um, Wine wants to do things according to their standard, and they're completely able to do that. Um, and you know, maybe in a decade or so, we'll get good uh, good DX11 performance because they're not getting money directly from Valve to focus on that specific problem, nope. unlike the DXVK mm -hmm. project. But it's it's good to have uh, the sort of decoupling in place, at least from Val from Valve Valve's perspective, and by extension from our perspective, because the graphics stack can move a lot faster than the main compatibility layer, which is kind of the fuck, which is the least of the fucky things, really. Um, and as as Scoot has mentioned, there's open the beauty of open source means that competing projects can stride or code from one another and mm -hmm. just make everything better. I look at it like this. Um... Just from the out, outside perspective, I agree with you. There does seem to be a little bit of not invented here syndrome, but hey, man, that happens. Such is life. But from the outsider, it's your standard person running Linux and like, hey, look, I can play, you know, I like to play games and wine was always kind of an option. We went from better avoid DX11 titles because no can play. If you want to do that magic, you have to deal with Eon. And mm -hmm. that's going to be dodgy to begin with to like in less than a year. Uh, hey, I hope it's DX11. So it'll use DXVK and it'll be fast. Uh, this is where we're at. I mean, that's that's just the average non like, yes, Proton DX11 is good now. And that DXVK, which it, it has a small advantage over what they're currently have been working on and still working on. And that advantage is it's an actual thing people can use. And it's making tons of like light speed progress uh, weekly. And it works. Well, that, that's where I'm <laughs> going to come in with the, you know, to quote them, the ultimately a dead end DXVK being old. That's questionable. That's questionable because, you know, I didn't, I kind of take issue with like them saying, you know, wine's own Vulcan direct 3d backend should make DXVK flurries. Uh, you know, that might ring true, but it's going to be another decade. Oh yeah. Yeah. I mean, oh, yeah. say, saying that this thing's a dead project because the thing we're working on that can't count to potato at this point, it, yeah, this is, it, it's a hard sell is what I'm saying. Yeah, and admittedly, it took the wine project almost three years to implement any form of CSMT, despite the person, in, uh, the person who created the original CSMT patch actively tried to work with wine themselves as like, look, I can help you guys implement this. And they said no. Well, uh, and then DXVK comes along, and the wine people try to get in touch they, with the they DXVK out, and guy. I think the DXVK guy went, I don't want any part of that. I'm just going to make yeah, this Yeah, no, work. I don't want to deal with you guys, so go away. <laughs> for better or for worse, man. And there's a lot of people working on this in their free time, and I'm not giving anybody any static. I'm just saying this is how it appears from the outside, because... It does. And it makes sense. It makes sense that wine would have to have those strict rules because they're trying to basically provide a compatibility layer for something that is buggy and doesn't work half the time. Mm -hmm. Windows. 
The, uh, and the, and the fact that they actually have to reproduce Windows bugs to make things this work. This is the whole yeah, thing. I mean, you, like... you, we constantly read in, like, the, uh, you know, when we get a new version of Y and they're in staging, just, like, the weird, like, what? You guys are working? What? Yeah. Really? Okay. <laughs> and that's nothing but impressive. So that might serve it. the move fast and break things, which is what the development pace is going on with DXVK right now. And, yeah, all right. It's not. And then yeah, I understand it's, you know, men's and build system versus, you know, just make and... Yeah, so. and you know, if the XVK does decide to once you know D9VK and VK12 are up to um, snuff, if uh, the XVK decides to swallow those two, it will be the API to rule them all because oh, all of a sudden the XVK can play everything. This is the future and, we're and walking into, man. It's going to end up. It's like this is not going to matter. We do run Linux, why? Because it runs everything. Literally everything. <laughs> All right. One everything. last bit before we get out of here. Uh, this is like just a PSA. Arthur and drop this in the show notes. But IO Quake 3, you know it, you love it. Uh, the open source re implementation of that build engine. There's notice as of 6.13, uh, builds possibly compromised. They're not sure, but they are sure that the server got the hacked. That happened, mm -hmm. and it really only looks like they installed some mining software on Jenkins, uh, which is our automated server, da da da. You know everything that's going on there. Anyway, what are cryptocurrencies? Well, they felt out. They recommend maybe not running any of the binaries that you have downloaded. Yeah, just in I case. Mean, which I think, I'm, yeah, I'm, yeah, that, and that that's really it, right? Like odds are, and I've I've seen I've seen this exact thing happen before. Someone hosts a public facing Jenkins server, which you really shouldn't do. You should keep your build server private and maybe gated through some other program. But anyways, um, if you have a public build server, sometimes that has like some pretty weak credentials because you want Jenkins to be able to remote it to it and do your builds. So someone figures out how to get it into your bypass your weak ass credentials, gets on a server, and they're like, "Hey, I'm gonna make this run some Bitcoin because I'm not paying for this Amazon VM." Uh, mm -hmm. But th they're smart. They're saying, you know what? Someone got access to it, which means who knows? Mm -hmm. So we're gonna we're gonna kill the server. We're gonna rebuild it. We're gonna have a nice, clean, non-compromised version. We're gonna regen all the keys and whatever, and put it back in. And then you can start trusting our binaries. But until then, just build it yourself. It's not yeah, hard build to yourself. build that it's not, it, No, it's not. Um, that's definitely a thing. All right. Um, what do we get up next? Up next, we got a game that only runs in Proton, which is bad, but it's actually pretty good. It's also native. So, question mark? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome back to the Chairquisition. I was kind of hoping to be a sexy banana, but instead, Boom. I'm a Steam page. How about that? N yeah, how about fire. that? Fire. I am fine. I'm, Grr. Listen, who are, who, are the, who are the three greatest rappers in the history of rap? Jordan, Jordan, and Jordan, because I spit hot fire. Anyways, we're throwing chairs at uh, the final station today. Da -da -da -da. Uh, you can, yeah, you can <laughs> uh, look, check it out on Steam. Uh, there's the link in our show notes. It's developed by Oleg Seg Sergeev. Uh, there, uh, I actually was going to call him o Oleg someone else because that was a fucking coworker of mine. But Andre Rumac and do my best. It's done on the Unity engine. Yeah, you can tell it from the screaming note that nope that pops up before the game crashes. What is it? Travel by train through a dying world. Look after your passengers. Keep your train operational. Make sure that you always reach the next station. Make your way through swarms of infected at each station. <laughs> Explore mysterious and abandoned stations looking for supplies and survivors. Uh, pick this up as part of the uh, humble tiny build bundle. Actually, I didn't because I didn't pay for the level that came with this game, so I had to pay fourteen bucks for it. Oh no! You know. <laughs> yeah, I uh, and <laughs> could have sent you a copy. <laughs> Oh. Anyways, um, yeah, so we're, we're going to take a look at how it runs on uh, Fedorf, Fedora and Solus. Let's begin. What about Fedorf? Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, on Fedorf 30, uh, first thing you do run into is that Unity Scream of Nope, which I have, it's been a while since I've seen you. We've been seeing that lately, but you normally see it in mm -hmm. older titles. Uh, this is not exactly a spring chainsaw. Um, first thing you're going to realize is your mouse input. At least on this end, this is a Threadripper 1920, 32 gigajoules of RAM, NVIDIA 2060. Uh, new box of business, you might want to call it. Just call it the Thread Booping System. Mouse input, your dribble input, didn't work on the title screen. I had to use the X-Clone controller to get into the game. This is a known issue. I found out in the forums. And I was able to play using my wireless X-Clone thingy uh, right up until I did the first mechanic to 
get into the game proper, hard nope, right to desktop. And I was like, whoa, that was quick. All right. You know what? Maybe that was a just a glitch. Went back, went through the whole thing at the beginning. And this is probably like four or five minutes. Did the thing again, boom, right to desktop. Great. So I was forced to use Proton, latest and greatest, uh, to get past that first code because I was like, you know what? Life hack. It's got cloud saves, and I'll do that. Then I'll just put the uh, native version. I'll disable the Proton, only to find out the uh, cloud sync incompatible between versions because fuck me, that's why. Performance. It kind of sort of holds 60 at 1080p with the... It's a DX11 title, so I'm playing this with Vulcan of all things, hipster of pixel Vulcans. It is playable. Uh, it does dip into the low 30s on occasion, but uh, it's not action-oriented. You can get away with it. Graphics, look at it. Hipster pixel. Well done. Looks nice. It's not terribly uh, important, but the menu uh, with the controls can't get in the game out of the box. I mean, if I didn't have that controller, I'd be like, well, what do I do? Uh, and it does seem that you can get around that if you launch the game in one dead moon, but whatever. Yeah, this only gets, it's been a while, man. A single chair for makes with the working because you can, with enough persistence, manage to play it. Indeed, on Fedora 30, 64-bit with the i7-6700K, TTX 1080 Ti, or on uh, on the 8150 with the RX 580. Yeah, I mean, the Linux build should not have passed quality assurance at all. Number one, you get the Unity Scream and nope, so that's already minus one share. And then, you know, you get into the game proper, you're thinking, oh, this is this is going kind of nice. Then it crashes. And it crashes yeah, yep. again. So, yep, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta proton that. Yeah, turns out, uh, turns out that it's a busted piece of shit. Um, Performance-wise, I mean, it runs with the aforementioned part performance hit because you need to run it through freaking Proton of all things. Um, I would like to comment on the performance of the native version, which has a range of <laughs> sixty FPS to zero very quickly. Um, yeah, uh, graphics-wise, they're pixely, but they're effective. Like. The 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 silhouette zombie dudes, they're sufficiently creepy, especially when they all start jittering towards you. That's a man trying to uh, conserve ammo right there. Yeah, that mm -hmm. is. Yeah, don't conserve your ammo against these guys unless you know what you're doing. <laughs> um control wise, yeah, uh playing it through Proton, there is significant input delay on both the Steam controller and the drill spock. So I had to play this with the keyboard and mouse, which is kind of unfortunate because I, this is the sort of game I kinda wanna kick back on the couch and play. But to, so much for that. I will give it two whole chairs. It's great. Yeah. Yeah. Unfortunately, you know, Unity screen and nope. So that's minus one chair out of the box. And it launches, but it does have, you know, this uh, nasty habit of crashing if you have the audacity to try and play it. Because, yeah, the thing that you need to progress, like looking at the note that's on the wall, that just crashes the game. Uh, the performance, yeah, it seems to hover around 60. The one, um, the only times that I noticed it dip was when the Steam overlay popped up a little notification. And the only notifications I have on are the ones I can't disable. Like, um, the, uh, the one for the, when you get a new card, you get a new item in your inventory. That uh, is the notification that I can't disable, and that's when the performance actually tanked. So, I'm not entirely sure if it was the game's fault, but Valve isn't really giving me the option to disable that's that. That's a lot so. of cocaine. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it is. <laughs> uh, the graphics, yeah, the, there are many things that don't work with this you know, game. Even graphics worse, are not even one worse, of them. dude, that could be tissue. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Between just saying uh, with that character. When, 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 yeah, when, yeah, when I ran into that in the game, I'm like, yeah, no, that's a that's a fuck ton of cocaine. What the hell? I don't know why he's but, so held up. Yeah. The controls, the dual shock behaves weirdly in the native version. You can tell that the game is taking inputs from it since it skips the like the intro screens, but I couldn't navigate Wait, the menu you, you at mean all. The hyper refine like jump here to jump here. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I couldn't navigate it at all. Proton actually made the DualShock work. It, I could actually use the DualShock to control it. Uh, but I didn't really have that issue where Ven, uh, the same one that Ven did that you couldn't click on the menu to start the game with the mouse. That worked just fine for me. So it gets two chairs. Yeah, I didn't run into that issue where I, I could start the game with both the uh, controller and the mouse, so I don't know, maybe maybe it was just the Threadripper problem. Thread <laughs> Known Ripper issue problems, reported man. in the forums. 
weird. <laughs> All right. Well, did you have fun with it, then? Yeah, I did, man. I actually, this is one of the things. This is the fucked up thing about this. You're like, oh, now you're going to hate on the game and call it. No, this is definitely one of the better Half-Life games I've ever played. You know, technical asshattery aside, the game's definitely managed to tell me the story with these fucking pixels. And that story is legitimately interesting. At first, I thought it was just another tiny build joint. You know, uh, you run, ah, you scream, you go backwards or whatever. Because it does share some of the control DNA from several of their titles. But what is it? I mean, you're going to wake up, you go to work, and shit starts getting real. All while doing an excellent job of uh, explaining the game mechanics without, like, that hand-holding. I mean, it kind of drops you in. But it's easy enough at first. Like, okay, how does this work? If you're looking at the screen right now, you do have to figure out how do I make that check mark go green and that's pretty neat basically you have the two parts you have to go find your key, co key codes for your choo choo and keep that train running all while babysitting the uh, fuckers that you saved and I like Pedro didn't care for that baby sitting right up until I realized how much those passenger critters were worth in money and bullets then, ladies and gentlemen, I make games service-focused on my passengers. You know, unless they have the bleeds, like that poor guy right there. You know, fuck you, sorry. I need the heels more than they did. As a whole, it it just comes across as tense. All of it. I mean, that is very hard to get in that mindset with a hipster pixel game, but it pulls it off, and it pulls it off very well. With the limited supplies and a story that genuinely makes me want to stay alive so I can figure out what the fuck the end game is to this. This is decent writing. And, you know, want to give him a little bit of credit because the exposition, that backstory you get, often comes from your passengers. Like, oh, you're listening. It's well written. Then, you know, when you're in the base and bunkers, just kind of piecing out. What the fuck exactly? What do, you, what do they mean by the first visit? And, yeah. I, I, I got to know what's going on, but uh, man, I, I'm willing to play this through Proton. I'll give it a solid three chairs for just straight up enjoyment. I got three hours in this damn thing. Yeah, it's it's an effective little ho survival horror slash like steward simulator. And he, ben, Ben's kind of right about the uh, the Half Life comparison because like the storytelling is very similar, where it's just a lot of stuff you have to piece together based on what people are saying, little notes that are uh, sort of haphazardly strewn around or computer consoles that give logs or whatever. I mean, uh, and it, it you kind of just trip over them too. So it's not very intrusive. It's not like stand here and listen to this exposition. It's like, as you, as you're going looting the room, you're like, Oh, Hey, Oh, what, what's that? What's that about? I don't know. I don't know what the deal with that is. Uh, I, I kind of want to find out. And uh, yeah, the, the survival horror portions are very well done. Uh, you're always going to be, you're almost always going in a loop. You basically just have to go into the level, find your numbers, go back. And usually there's a shortcut that leads you to like a bunch of horrific stuff and you're out of ammo. So you kind of got to cheese your way through it. And oh man, you got, you got to cheese your way through a bunch of shit. There will be some fromage involved for sure. <laughs> uh, especially, especially when you run out of ammo or you're like, oh, there are three guys with helmets and I have two pistol shots left. Ha, huh, let's do this. Um, but, um, yeah, and then and then you get on the train and you got to take care of your passengers. And so I, I, I found a situation where it is actually worthwhile to keep the bleeders alive. And I picked up two right before the uh, mission was going to end. And I managed to keep them alive and I got their, their bonuses. So really, if you're going to burn med kits on bleeders, wait until the very end. Otherwise, you're just going to be out of, out of luck. Um, and yeah, ha having to share um, resources with you and the passengers also makes it kind of interesting as well. Uh, especially with the med kits, because if you you can use your med kits to heal up your passengers so that they don't bleed out or starve to death, but then you can't really use them on yourself. But yeah, the narrative the narrative though is the real highlight here. There's a really creepy, intriguing story that's happening that it, it it's 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 very well done. You have to play the game to sort of have it revealed to you piece by piece, and you there's already like little bits and pieces you can start theory crafting right off the bat, and it's it's very compelling. So. Yeah, it's just a shame that the native version fucking sucks and eats shit. Otherwise, give this four chairs, but, you know, fuck it. Three. Yeah. One thing, like, right off the bat, the atmosphere, the background noise, the uh, the noises that the zombies... You know, the very subtle noises that the zombies make, and the, uh, like, those weird things in the background of the level that as you walk across them, they sound really ominous. The atmosphere is just amazing here. Uh, 
I didn't, yeah, like Ven already uh, alluded to, I didn't like having to babysit the passengers and having them randomly die because I don't have enough kit for my, uh, enough mat kits for myself, let alone, you know, them. Uh, also, I did start to resent the increasing scarcity of bullets and the ever-increasing number of enemies, but the game does give you enough environmental stuff like TVs and toilets uh, that you could just throw at enemies, uh, so that's not too bad. And these, I feel like they're good complaints to have because basically at this point I'm complaining about, oh, the game mechanics are working as intended. So these are nitpicks, and they didn't stop me from playing the game. No, the the crashing in the native version did that. Uh, the, uh, it builds a whole world just showing you stuff. Showing you stuff that's on screen. As the train is zooming along, uh, you get to see the world change as the zombies and the invasion starts going on further and further. And that's... That's very well done. That's showing what's uh, what's happening to the world. Instead of telling me, there were many games that we threw chairs at in the past where I would have just, you know, instead of uh, them showing the um, the change that's happening in the world, uh, the, they would have told you, oh, the world is changing. It's like, yeah. yeah. Oh, fuck this spot in Thanks particular. I, I, I had some fun trying to... Yeah, I, I had two Dude. bullets left in there, so I had I, I, I was that was some that was some. Barrage. I had no bullets in that man. I had to punch my way to that box. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and uh, if it weren't for the glaringly obvious issues that the native Linux version has, I would give this game four chairs for the fun because it is that good. It is that well done. But yeah, it has issues. So three, it is. <laughs> yep. All right. There you go. Technically busted, but actually a really good game. Yeah, can... it's well designed too. I mean, just uh, coming looking at this, I mean, they're genuinely the fuck boxes are designed to. You you have to go through the phases of like if you got bullets, you can bullshit your way through it, or you can oh this this took. <laughs> Oh, I don't even want to talk about that. Let's pretend that never happened. Uh, uh, oh yeah, that 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 that, that, that one was fun. <laughs> that okay. I, I, uh, I, I, I think I left like half the room alive. I just booked it. Uh, I had to go to YouTube for this one because I, I got tired of Groundhog Day on this shit. And I was like, is this how, <laughs> what am I missing? I'm like, no. You just, oh, you can shoot down. Oh, then I, this is where I discovered that you could cheese ladder punches. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Once I had that wind and punch, I was like, oh, we're good. We're good. Hack, 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 hack. All right. Uh, good job. Uh, shit Linux built. Indeed. Yes. <laughs> Coming up next, we're going to talk about some other shit Linux builds online. And wouldn't you know it, it's almost over. We just have a couple of more bits of hate mail to get through, and then we're out of here, and you can go about your life, or, you know, listen to the next podcast that you have queued up, whatever the case may be. But hey, chances are, during this little spiel, what we did over the past hour and some odd minutes, uh, you probably have something you'd like to tell us, even if it's just, you know, to tell us to shut up, or call us... What was it the other guy called us? Fucktards? I mean, you gotta speak the truth to him. <laughs> I, 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 you gotta be, gotta be more specific there, man. Right. <laughs> no, no, someone left us a comment on uh, LWDW that was far more fitting for a hate mail than it would be for feedback for that particular uh. show. But, uh, yeah, no, uh, that person had some strong opinions about Screechy hidden re -re. Hey, if you want to be a Screechy re, -re. You can go to LinuxGameCast.com and you hit the contact button. Just fill out the form, make sure LGC Weekly is the show that you're submitting that contact form to, and we'll be happy to feature your message right here, right now. Yes, you can include all the re for this particular show. Oh, okay. <laughs> Hold down the E, you can uh, cheese it with yes. the uh, shift. All right, I had to figure that out. Learn something today. Stop, stop cheating. Stop cheating the spam golem no uh -huh. we, we, okay we, we, we got we got we got some hate mail from Artane though uh mm -hmm. this is our first one it's talking about stadia it says i've been watching lgc 355 and you guys mentioned that destiny 2 is running hey, running hey that's your own damn fault all oh, right yeah, yeah. <laughs> destiny 2 is running natively on the stadia service where did you guys get this information did bungie or google explicitly say that destiny 2 is running on google's linux power stadia servers uh so Artane, buddy 
Uh, the the $130 Stadia bundle comes with Destiny 2, and I'm just going to let you in on a little something. Stadia's not running Windows on the back end. No, no, it's all Linux, but, all Vulcan. Google but, made a but, but, but. very big no, deal. I, I'm going to go and, ahead and, and throw and, this back. I forget the episode <laughs> number. You go find our initial mention of uh, when I had access to Project Stadia way back when. Because like, oh, yeah, and check this out. You know this shit's not running Windows. Jordan was like, it's probably just running in a VM on Windows. It absolutely is, mm. 100%. <laughs> I, to, to, to be to be to be fair that cynicism was worth was worthwhile right it could it could have been but it's not and i'm happy that it's not that said though destiny 2 no cross play with pc or playstation 4 no not not on stadia well i mean you know, that, this is like the probably the most frustrating thing about stadia is we're gonna know there's linux built mm-hmm. and uh, yeah. if you go look at the steam page it's windows only well, that's what it's going to be. I mean, to their credit, mm-hmm. I mean, a Stadia build isn't something that you can just poop over to, I mean, from the ground up, but you have to. Yeah, the, the, the work to get the game engine working on Linux has already been done. It already works on Linux with Vulkan. All they need to do is compile the base client on that build system. Now, in all fairness, the support <laughs> issues for stadiums like can you play video yeah okay yeah, the- just target steam os target ubuntu lts no see what, what we what we need is the epic store <laughs> to produce their own linux distribution mm-hmm. it'll be called epic linux and it's entirely community backed and it's running linux 2.4 in like I don't know, GCC man. Maybe 3. maybe next week we'll have a certain someone on who might be talking to Epic about a thing and uh We'll know it's, more. I don't know. It's 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 entirely possible. Trademark. All right. Let's <laughs> let's go. Let's go to space. Let's, Next let's, one's from let's stick with Saxcar. Stadia. Saxcar. Saxcar. Saxcar says uh, SpaceX and Amazon will have internet provided by satellite in the near future. Do you guys think this will help with game streaming services? The latency might not be an issue. Data caps, on the other hand, hold on. Wait, hold on. So you're saying that you having to send your connection to space and then come back to Earth to some server somewhere and then go back to space and then back to you, latency is not going to be an issue? You know, because space. Uh, these are going to be in, they're going to be in geosync, they're going to be in low Earth, 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 uh, low Earth, L- orbit. Low Earth orbit. Low Earth orbit. So <laughs> your latency is going to be between, I mean, realistically, real between 60 and 80 milliseconds. Which is still pretty bad when you consider that on an average home connection, your latency is 15. Well, you're, you're not going to get great latency with Wi-Fi, period. That's yeah. just like, that's kind of a virtue of the beast of the networking yeah. model that <laughs> we utilize right now. Um, but we were talking about this a little bit in the pre-pre-super shows, and we're, we're not really sure, like, A, if you're going to need to buy, like, some special mobile enhancement thing that plugs into USB. Well, you're or- going to need an antenna. Yeah, you're you're, you're going to need an antenna. Is that just gonna? Is it just going to be a little box like a MiFi? No, I hope it's like, like an a... inflatable Antonio Banderas life size <laughs> doll that you have to fill with helium. And you know, no, you, you know where the antenna is. You, you you get one free gigabyte every time you buy a can of Pringles. Is yeah. that how it's going to work? It's a it's a Pringles can wrapped in tin foil. That's the antenna. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, three competing things. I hmm, I've tried. Like, now this has been years ago. We're talking probably a decade ago with satellite internet, just out of shits and giggles. I think I tried to load up Quake World, and that that was like 800 milliseconds on a good day. Mm-hmm. But then again, yeah. this is not like Starlink or anything like that. These are going to be fucking close. So you know, you could you can you can get away with first person shooters with 80 milliseconds. Fucking ask Foxy. We were playing Quake. Uh, no Doom. And Quake, Quake Doom. He he regularly mm-hmm. plays Rocket League. You know, from Australia with us, uh, with plus five hundred. Mm-hmm. So then, all of a sudden, yeah. when you put it in that, eighty it's starts doable. sounding doable. Yeah, yeah. You're 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 not going to be winning any sort of fucking pro tournaments on that. But like for regular gameplay, it should be fun. I'm just I'm just concerned. Like, oh, ubiquitous internet's everywhere. How are the freaking telcos going to respond to that? Lower That's prices. Gonna... Oh, they're. they're... <laughs> A, they're going to be funding everybody they can to like, this is going to melt your brain meats. Go protest and get it banned like they did mm-hmm. with, uh, what was By it, Jam- YMAX. 
Remember oh, Winamax? Yeah. Dude, they... yeah, let, yeah. Let, let, let's use all that freaking TV airspace that no one's using anymore because it's all digital. Oh, no. dude, mm-hmm. they went straight to the ham operators and they're like, this could possibly interfere with emergency services, like on a Tuesday after six p.m. Maybe you know, like TV didn't for the well, past yeah, seventy yeah, years. It's, it's different because reasons. And <laughs> some more money. Go <laughs> this high, high, high Poland. You know, honestly, I am kind of happy about this because this is like once you pop, you can't stop this shit. I mean, you can't stop shit from outer space hitting a receiver, and that makes me all the happy. Look, I don't, for I don't, I don't, like basic wait, wait, internet usage, it is going to be awesome. For playing games, if it comes in a reasonable fucking price, think how quick could they shrink this and. It's going to be in your mobile device too. It's like, well, yeah, oh, yeah. That, well, that, that, that's, that's the main plans. target, right? Well, that, that's the thing. Like, you, ubiquitous internet everywhere is sort of like the cyberpunk dream, right? Mm-hmm. But mm-hmm. when we're already living in the cyberpunk dystopia, so we'll see how that'll screw us in the long run. Hey, man, pocket uh, computer. <laughs> on that screwy long run, let's cue the music. You could always find us around nine thirty Eastern Standard Time, where we're kind of dropping hints that maybe that is going to become eight thirty Eastern Standard Time, starting in July. Well, I don't know. We'll have to test run it. <laughs> Until then, you can get hold of me at Vin Stone uh, on the Twitter nets, and I'm at Vin Stone on mass.linuxgamecast.com. Yeah, you can find me Punkin all the cybers wearing my mirror shades. The polychromes at the burning fool on Twitter plus Jordan or not. There's no plus Jordan Spy plus anymore. Jordan's it's fine. Six <laughs> yeah, years. Keep, listen, listen, man. Keep keep going to plus.google.com. It's app. It'll come back. You just gotta believe, man. Or at Frojo at her mastodon on mass.nextgamecast.com. Well, I guess if you're a, a, a G Suite user, you could still go a to G-Suite? plus our names. The fuck uh, G-Suite. is G Suite? G Suite. Yes, you. Look, it, it's, it's, it's the G Spot. I've man. been drinking. It's, it's where it is. <laughs> you know, honestly, we were making bets. Like, we thought you were going to be a buckload more drunk. You, you're doing good, yeah. buddy. All right. Keep, okay. Keep, well, keep it up. Uh, chug, chug, chug. If, if you want fish. to not see me chug, go to uh, twitter.com forward slash unaccounted for. That's where you can find me. Just follow me there. I'll If, if you say something, I will reply. Possibly. Don't believe him. <laughs> Possibly. Not, not, in a, not in 100 years. Nope. Not at all. <laughs> <laughs> Credit time. Click. Roll that. Transform. Roll out. Never trust an electric unicycle. Is True words. Never the story. <laughs> yep. If anybody kicks in your door and he's like, hey, man, I'm giving away free jellyfish enemas, run. <laughs> I, was, I was thinking, like, someone kicks on, kicks down your door and they're riding an electric unicycle. Gotta give love to our executive producers, <laughs> Arthur and Foxy, Empty Atomic, Mike G, Barbara, and Drummer 7, Aldius, Hoplo, and Mac Geek. Woohoo! <laughs> and you too can play the home game, friend, and read out Juggies, all the producers Kim, as they scroll Ma, on by. Igor, Mir, uh, Jordan, Igor, David, Ethro, <laughs> Steve, <laughs> Pablo. Uh, Topical uh, guy is Mini Jack, the Targos, Grayson, uh, Zoe, Jack, Jack. Greg, oh, and, about Greg. and the real Pither with him. Fucking Gonzo 2000. Oh, uh, shit. It's most 2000 people Gonzo. Who've helped build this studio Mike, Maddie, Linux, Nuru, mm-hmm. Truggy, Aldi, Sartre, Bradley, Jim, <laughs> Steve, Dumb Running Out of Breath, Lutra, Stan W, E Rod, to hurry the fuck up, John M, Mr. Red, Clockia, Admiral JT, Mir, fuck, in Mag. <gasps> Couldn't do it. <sighs> Ryan M. Fuck off, Frank. J. Uh, J. J. Rulo, Jellybean, and, and Ablo. <laughs> Warp nine. Man, I was trying. Vision got blurry. I need. <laughs> oh yeah. I need an extra well, lung. I, your your voice was <laughs> wavering at the end too. You're just like I was like fuck, man. <laughs> Died. <laughs> Died of everyone. We'll see you next week. Uh, Smash that like button, fam. <laughs> Smash that floor, fam. Don't worry that glass desk will break my fall. <laughs> smash, smash that fright button, man. <laughs> That's okay. I needed a couple of more breathy holes. <laughs> Five dudes.